Hey, it's Lorraine Bracken here from the Digital Explorer. Today, I want to talk about 10 things that I wish I knew before I started my affiliate marketing business. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I actually started here in 2020, but you won't believe how much I have actually learned in this short period of time. If I knew the information I know now, back years ago when I started trying to make money online, I would probably be a lot further ahead if I knew what I know now. Okay, so the first thing I wish I knew years ago would be that it doesn't have to be perfect, no matter what business model you're in. But for example, in affiliate marketing, just pick the name of a website. Don't procrastinate for weeks on end trying to pick the perfect domain name. That's an example of what I mean by ha it doesn't have to be perfect. Just take small steps every single day and don't worry about it being perfect. In my personality, I normally like to have things absolutely perfect. And if I can't get it perfect, I don't even try. And that has actually stalled my progress in the years. So that's my first tip. Just go for it. Do one small thing at a time and you won't believe how much you'll learn over the next few months. Now, the second thing I wish I asked myself years ago before starting anything was, do I actually enjoy this? Whatever the process or strategy of making money online is, do I enjoy the whole process? Because if you don't enjoy it in the beginning, then the likelihood in a year's time or two years time from now is the fact that you probably won't be enjoying it then. You'll actually probably hate it. So the whole purpose of having an online business for me is in doing something I really enjoy doing whilst making money. And that's the whole purpose for me. But obviously you cannot go into this with the whole mindset of, I want the money. You have to figure out, is there something online that you really enjoy doing? And then the fact that you make money off it is just an added bonus. And that actually leads me on to number three, which is, are you gonna treat this business seriously? Or are you gonna treat it like a hobby? Because if you're gonna treat it like a hobby, that's fair and well if you want it to be a hobby. But if you want a real long-term business that you can actually make a full-time income of, then you're going to have to treat this like a real business. For the first few years, I was not treating it like a real business. I was actually more so dabbling around and I was getting nowhere. And I can see now why that was, because I wasn't taking it serious. The fourth thing I wish I knew years ago is that if I failed or if I made a mistake, with some part of my online business, it did not mean I was a failure. It, actually failing or making mistakes is a good thing because you're actually learning and you'll be able to make adjustments to whatever plan you've made to improve. I actually watched a video from Miles Beckler recently. It makes so much sense and it talks about this particular topic. I'm gonna to leave a link in the description for you to go and check that out. Okay, so the next one, number five, is the one that I do wish I knew because I got stuck with this one and it's probably stopped me from growing online and that is getting distracted. There are so many different opportunities and different shiny objects that's online. Whether they're good or bad, it doesn't really matter. What I'm saying is once you have made the decision that you want to start an affiliate marketing business, whether that be with blogging or with your YouTube channel, what you need to do is just focus on what you're doing and just stay on track with that. So when you see something online that looks good or may look, oh, this is actually might work faster for me, and you actually stop progressing because you've gone on to a different strategy and that's gonna take up another week, two weeks of your time. And then you probably figure out, okay, well, this isn't working. So you have to go back to square one, which was your original plan. Whereas if you just stay focused, because if you do, that's how you're gonna grow faster, is do not get distracted by all these different strategies and opportunities online, because there is nothing out there that's going to bypass the work that entails making a successful online business. The sixth thing I wish I knew years ago was how important traffic is. Without a traffic source, you have no business. Years ago, I was concentrating more so on how much money I could make with a particular product or what I was actually going to sell, rather than, well, what platform am I going to use to grow my audience on? That is what we need to focus on first when starting out. And forget about what you're going to sell, 
Just focus on building your audience by giving value and that is how you're going to have a long-term business. And the seventh thing I wish I'd done was join more communities of like-minded people and actually ask questions. I highly suggest you do this because when you get stuck and you have a community of people who have been there or maybe a step ahead of you can answer your questions for you. In the beginning, I didn't do that. And when I actually was stuck, I had no one to ask. And it's so important that you actually stay around people who have a similar interest to what you're into, because sometimes there are people in your community or your friends or family, they don't get why you want to build an affiliate marketing business or any online business. And they don't understand and you can't, you feel that you can't actually talk to them about it, even though they may be supportive. So that's why I recommend that you do join a couple of groups and ask for help when you are stuck. Okay, so number eight is I wish I focused more on my tasks rather than money in the beginning. In the beginning, I did have goals. I really wanted to be making a certain amount of money per month, but what I should have been doing and what I'm doing right now is more focusing on the tasks I can complete in a month. At the minute, I am uploading two videos on YouTube per week, and that's my goal. That's one of my productivity goals. I do not focus on the money because if you do, that is something you cannot control. So if you are focused on that, that is bound to get you down. You get negative because it's something you cannot work on. Whereas with the productivity goals, yes, you can because you can make the steps each week in order to reach them goals. Number nine, I really wish I celebrated my little goals that I achieved online instead of focusing on what I wasn't achieving. Because when it comes to online marketing, they do tend to make it look like it's really easy and fast and simple. And then when it doesn't happen that way, then you tend to get down on yourself because you think you're doing something wrong. When in actual fact, that is not the case. When someone is promoting something and they say they've made 10,000 in a promotion, that does not mean that they just started their business last week and they made 10,000 in that week. It means that they've grown their business to a stage that they can actually promote something in a few days and they can make 10,000 in them few days. That takes time. So when you realize that, and I realize that now, that all these little wins are huge because they will turn into big wins down the road. So once you start focusing on them little wins and recognizing them for what they are, which are real big milestones in your business, then you'll start to see progress. And that actually leads me on to number 10, which is having a long-term mindset. In the beginning, I had no long-term mindset. I really did think I could be making money very fast when in actual fact that is not the case. It takes a lot of work and dedication to build your business online. Now that I have a long-term mindset, even with all the information I know right now, it is still a struggle some days when you are putting in the work and you feel that you should be going faster and you do get frustrated. But once you have the realistic expectations of what it takes and you realize that you're doing nothing wrong, it's just this is the norm. Then you will say, OK, I'll keep going. I'll keep keep taking the necessary steps to keep moving forward. So when you get to that stage of understanding that no matter what you do online, it is not going to be get rich quick then you will get further because you will have a more realistic vision of what it takes. So they're the 10 things I wish I knew when I first started trying to make money online. They're all obviously mistakes I made or I have had failures along the way, but they were all learning curves. And now hopefully with this information, I can help you move forward a little bit faster by having this knowledge. And if you are struggling to make money online, click the link below. There is free training that you can start today. It is training that I personally went through myself and I can say it is top notch. You won't find any training out there that is as good and as high quality as this for free. And with that being said, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, and I will chat to you on the next video. Take care, guys.